Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we are gathered in the park today for some spiritual messages. We're going to be channeling some messages from your spirit team, the angels, the ancestors, see what they have to say in regards to the energy surrounding you, what's coming towards you. We're using the right away tarot, we're using the oracles, moonology, and romance angels. Let's get into it. Oh, we got a squirrel out of the park. This is the first time I think I've seen a squirrel out here, possibly the second. Yo, and he's coming over here. <laughs> it's a bird right there, too. Wow. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Shamanism is kicking in heavy today. We have all types of birds, butterflies. We got squirrels now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some snakes in the garden. <laughs> Let's get to the message. What messages do we have here for air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Spirit? What's the communication? <laughs> he ran off. He scrammed. So we have the bottom of the uh, deck. We have Ace of Swords. So you're seeking out truth at this time. Well, this is what's most important to you. However, we have this honesty coming out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six of Swords. So you're leaving behind something. There was a lot of dishonesty here. A lot of false beliefs or maybe some sort of a broken system. Two of swords. Yeah, you didn't have time for it. You blocked it out here. Huh. Now this could be a vacation. Uh, this could be like um, a pivot. Changing plans, possibly. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. This could be some sort of a lucky streak, lucky moment, jackpot, or a change up in a fate and destiny. Like a change of plans, basically. Mm -hmm. This could be great fortune headed towards someone as well. Clarity is coming in. Someone could have been blocked out mentally. Writer's block or something like that. Yeah, they're a writer, an editor, an author, an illustrator. creating highlights someone could have been sick needed hospital yeah death toxicity Scorpio poisons medicines teas tinctures and elixirs right <laughs> like the fancy Hollywood movie when the doctor can't help you who do you go to right the voodoo priest even Dr. Strange, when his fingers were got broken, he was the best surgeon in the world. He went to a mystic arts guru, right? Mm -hmm. The one. Let's see. Seven of swords. We have a lot of swords here. Someone's, okay, either they have a speech impediment here or they're intentionally trying to mis mislead someone with dialogue. This could be like a villain talking too much, playing with his food here. We have nine of wands. Yeah, a wounded warrior. Someone has a strong testimony possibly here. This is gang violence. Getting, okay. I'm getting something. I'm not going to say it on camera though. But you see this truce here. Two of Cups. This could be friendship. Comes right on top of Two of Swords. So it's rocky. So you could possibly be dealing with friends or family members that you don't trust here. King of Swords. Could be dealing with surgery here. Or director. They're definitely a writer. The moon card. Yeah, cultism, words and numbers. Bedtime stories and that sort of thing. Lunar cycles. School or teaching. Tower card. <laughs> a surprise, surprise. A destruction. Or again, this could be some sort of a death coming towards someone. An accident. This could be stress. The sun card. Happy energy here. 
could have left a child behind here. Could be getting some sort of a... Um, I'm not sure if this is dreams or making some sort of a connection. Again, some sort of an aha moment. Something's clicking in someone's head. This could be intuition as well. Some sort of a spiritual download, spiritual awakening, dark night of the soul. There's a lot of uh, triggers here, a lot of toxicity. Yep, divine masculine energy. Someone's being triggered here. This is a leader. You have to go through things in order to become a better person, right? Someone's trying to block someone, though. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> this could be a lack of a foundation or someone threatening to not support someone. <laughs> wow, people always do that. They see that you're getting better or that you're moving up and they try to strip the blanket from, from up underneath you. This is what people mean when they say they have to... Not that they don't take accountability... It's just that they have to deal with other people's bullshit. Envious people. Yeah. That's the whole point of gossip. To get other people... Um, to get other people to... I guess... It's misdirection, pretty much. We have the King of Cups out here. Hmm... This is an, a, a spiritualist here, an occultist. Could be some sort of a preacher or a pastor. Or someone that they know. Maybe they have lineage or a legacy from someone that's very spiritual. Or held some sort of a high position here. A noble, possibly. If we, if we go back to medieval times, it could be some sort of a noble here with the Wheel of Fortune. King of Swords. King of Cups. The Emperor. Let's check all the major arcanas here. <laughs> Alright. What's grounding the reading? Ace of Swords. A lot of integrity here. Yeah. Pure blood. Or some sort of a royalty, right? Sitting in a royal bloodline. You have six major arcanas here. So this is victory. We have strong Scorpio energy showing up, most definitely. This person knows occultism and they have high intuition. They probably could have been through a lot of triggering, trauma, or transformational moments here. What was hidden in the light was revealed to them and they probably spent a lot of time in darkness here. Mm -hmm. Having an eclipse with both the sun and the moon, both masculine and feminine, both light and dark, well-rounded, both good and bad. The emperor, wheel of fortune, blessed for a season. They're lucky for a season here, okay. When you're anointed, I'm not sure if you lose the anointing or not. But we have the King of Cups and the King of Swords here. Hmm. I'm almost getting like um, weighted clothing. Um, this just could be like a woman that walks around holding in her stomach all the time. She does it so much that she's used to doing it. This could be someone wearing weighted clothing all the time when they work out or whatever they do that they're just used to carrying heavy weight that when these people do release these burdens, they're going to be very spiritually powerful, very spiritually successful. This again, in the material world, this is like when you save all your money up and next thing you know, you have a big, huge stack in your savings and then you do something with it. A level up coming towards someone here. Five of swords, six of swords, all these swords here. I don't know if they went through a lot of learning here or they had to sift through a lot of people's opinions or they had uh, trust issues or self-confidence issues. Could have come from a harsh background, dealt with a lot of criticism. Yeah, what's hiding here is the Nine of Swords. There was a lack of reciprocation, love and balance here, Queen of Cups and judgment here. Probably had a mother figure judging them or some sort of a feminine judging them. We had the King of Cups, so that would be a some sort of a divine counterpart or some sort of a divine union there should have been let's see what the romance angels has to say or the air signs gemini libra and aquarius let's see what spirit has to say in regards to your energies your connections your relationships could have been someone that um 
this is like a missed opportunity possibly as well more regrets I should have I could have or you should have told me you liked me back then that sort of thing we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy we got retreats it's time to disconnect from the world treat yourself is what I'm getting deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship when you're uncertain about someone or you're on rocky territory or rocky ground with someone you retreat take all that love that you was going to give them and you give it to yourself and see how fast that person comes running back to you <laughs> people want to play games let your friends help you ask for your, or accept okay so i'm getting social media so yeah disconnect from social media <laughs> follow your own intuition we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully Hmm. Uh, karmics, I swear. Someone could be trying to emotionally manipulate you, and they could be trying to do it through a di uh, different. They could be trying to do it through your family. They could be trying to do it through social media. If you have children with this person, they could be trying to do it th through the children. You have to cut off access. All people always try to use a different gateway, a different frequency, or a different dimension to try to control you let's see what else is this trying to control your finances that sort of thing these people can go to hell let's see what we have here the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn yeah we just had again the end of a full moon a super moon in Capricorn so this is right on time, surrender to the divine, full moon. Again, we just literally had a full moon. So this is, this is destiny or this is faith here. You'll have a lot of spiritual and ancestral protection. Whatever you're going through right now is meant for you to happen so that you can become a better person or so that people can see you go through this so that later when they see you, they feel like shit, that they try to shit on you, <laughs> right? We have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon, getting like an alchemic process, so equal give and take. The universe is gonna is going to strip from them and give to you here. We have what do you need to release? Waning moon. Ooh, somebody's gonna get hit with a lot of abundance here. You know, all that hard work is paying off. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, this could be like a court matter or court decision. Maybe you're waiting on some sort of a financial, um, I don't know, something that you apply for to come through here. There's success here. Because we're getting the home life twice. We're having Capricorn, which wants to get to the top of the mountain, of course. And then we have Cancer, which is the home life. They carry their exoskeleton or their shell. Like most uh, crustaceans, they carry their shell on their back or their home on their backs here. So we have success coming your way and whatever the case may be, you just have to play your part. Only you can know what your part is. <laughs> coming across all these 90s themed commercials and cartoons, we're having nostalgia. Yep, yep. Maybe there's a message to be found there, but I'll let you know at some point. You know I like to upload random videos onto my social medias. I never promote my social medias, my Facebook and my Twitter and my Instagram. <laughs> or my TikTok, right? But like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.